It's girly power. It's a coach. You're watching Madden Football on EA Sports. Coming up, running back Todd Gurley. Fresh off a standout performance a week ago, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Los Angeles Rams. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you much. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. A few short moments ago, running back Todd Gurley trying to fire up the Ram faithful here in Southern California as his guys get set to do battle with the Dallas Cowboys. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. It's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Cowboys, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. Offense. Juwan James, the right tackle, first round selection in 2014. He's the one that got flagged there. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. And the offensive starters for Dallas. And they're coming off a good win on the road last week, but they do know that they have a home game next week. So all the focus has to be can they get a second win on the road and make going home that much sweeter? That's the intention in this ball game. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield? to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That's a first down and then some, a 32-yard pickup. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. He'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And now the Rams have got it, going the other way. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Let's 
Following the fumble recovery, Goff. And that is incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Goff. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. 22 yards there, a first down. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. Brandon, the lineman certainly flinched there before the snap. A good call. That's going to set him back five yards. Let's go. Let's go. Here goes to us. 20. 54 Mike. Hey, let's get in them holes. From the gun, here's Goff. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it a second down. To throw again on second down, Goff. He'll get this one to Cup complete, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A Ram first down as Goff finds Cup. Goff on first down. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Gerald Everett, his first touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Point after try, forthcoming. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Dante Fowler in on the stop. Time for a look at the defensive starters now for the Rams. They were excellent a week ago in the victory over Arizona. Have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw. They ended up getting four sacks in the game, stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire time, made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. And that's what they told us this week, that pressure on the QB is key. Second and nine now. That's complete to Arthago Whiteside. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll look to throw here. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Well, pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. The numbers on the ground for Gurley last week. He was, without a doubt, one of the catalysts in that victory. And he can really be the glue that makes this offense go because when defenders have to commit to stopping him, that just opens up more opportunities in the passing game. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. 
And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Now it's gone. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Roughing the passer, defense. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. This pass from Goff to Everett, the tight end. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 27 yards there, a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. A perfectly executed crossing route. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. From the gun on third down, Goff. They got a man, it's Woods. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the First six. The Roughing the passer, defense. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke. As a and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Todd Gurley, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Well, that turned out how they wanted. Run the toss play to the left side, go for that pylon, get in there. And just being able to understand where the pylon was and sneak it in there, well done, well executed. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. J.J. Arthega Whiteside, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. They'll set up to throw, sliding out of the pocket. He may try and run for this. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that 
puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Goff now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On second down and four, Goff. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Right there, 54, right there, right there. 54, Yeah. He don't want none. On third down, Robinson. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaking up down there on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Back to the ground, this time with Gurley. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there, a 22. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They go play action with Gurley. Now Goff. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Gerald Everett with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term, they just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21 0. 21 0, our score after one. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32 yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field and some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. They'll set up a throw. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. 
Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. And pick your phrase, pick your code words, your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? What's that route you love? What's that oh, route you love? Four verts. Four verts. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm we see some of that big arm right here he has been great first down los angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards certainly worth noting he's now one catch away from 600 he's at 599 in his career and opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine that looks to be eight officially so second and two on second and a couple golf he gets it to cooks and he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 40. That reception, his 600th NFL catch. Congratulations, quite the accomplishment. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 right at the 40. Gone over the middle, it's complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Now the try here for the point after. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Typically down to the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but normally I'm the one pre uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. He'll drop to throw. Got his man. It's our Sega Whiteside. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Back to throw here. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. On second down, it's Weaver. And he's got room. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. Let's go. And it doesn't go. matter go. anymore go. how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. And to give this time to the tailback. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Emmanuel Agba there on the stop. Back to throw now on second and 10. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. 
Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. The Cowboys on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. They're going to look to throw. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They can't stop us. They cannot hold us. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. We play to win. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And that's complete to Cooks. The Rams on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and three. And Woods has it complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. I got it. From the 50, it's golf. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the sack. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Third and long. It's golf. He gets it to Gurley, complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Ouch, you thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. Goff throwing complete to Cup. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. On first down. It's Robinson. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. On second and nine, Goff. And he slings one that's incomplete. He was looking for Todd Gurley, and it's third down. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Now Goff. And that is incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. 
They'll run on first down. It's Weber. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second and six. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. The coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and 10. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him ten there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. They'll look to throw here. Over the middle complete. That's Weber. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Good route, good pickup. For Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Second and 13. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The final shot before break here. Golf. Now that'll be caught by Cup, And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In the game you're watching, it was Jared Goff with a strong first half. He's thrown for nearly 300 yards already as we get you back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And our attention shifts to Todd Gurley. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. 
Meanwhile, Goff to Gurley as he drops it off for his running back. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll lead here to a third down. That's a gain of five. Brings up third From the gun on third down, Goff. Man open, it's Cup. He's got it. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. On first down, it's gone. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 30 yards. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush, a lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. This quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. From the 22, Goff, throw complete right side to Cooks. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Goff now to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But, Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. An eight-yard touchdown run as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead will swell by one more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down go, at about the 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Here's second and eight. Flush to his right, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Emmanuel Agba. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who? Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. Touchdown, L.A. Todd Gurley. 73 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. 
Now you talk about the dominating rushing performances that you and I have seen together. This has got to be right up there. His fourth touchdown run of the game and another long one to boot. And I don't need to ask for a witness because you're right here with me. We are watching this, and we're watching such a performance that it's demoralizing for anyone on defense. You know, it starts out coaches screaming, tackle him, get him. And after that last touchdown, I bet it's pure silence on that side of the ball. The extra point splits the uprights, and that will extend this big lead. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Cooper again the target, and it's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Samson Abukum giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that old, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. Oh, here come the Rams, and they get it. It's blocked. It's picked up, and this is a live ball, remember. And he will score. Touchdown, L.A. As his guys are in for six. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Partners, you well know every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run the counter. Weber and an alley to run. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Go, go, go. Wide, wide, wide. Get wide. On first down, Milton. He'll get three up to midfield. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Weber. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did. And remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. He can run for it, and he will. 
And he's going to get this inside the 30. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 28. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Second and nine now. Catch is made by our Sega Whiteside. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. J.J. Ortega Whiteside, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Back to throw now on second and 10. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. They'll set up to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Weber. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55, Mike. Here we go. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They'll try again here from the 7 on second and goal. Here's a second and 7. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Austin Safarian Jenkins, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Cowboys are able to make things a bit more respectable. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost... And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all... Do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? No. No, not at all. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. The first down run with Gurley, good for only about three. It's second down now. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. On third down, Robinson. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. 
And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. Here's Goff, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And this is incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. They're going to look to throw. Safarian Jenkins has it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. He'll look to throw. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Defense. Trying to cover Cooper there a little too closely. And he's such a tough cover because he runs his routes so well. Hard to stay with him and hard to figure out exactly where the break points are. And in this case, he created another pass interference call. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. A run for Weber. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Back to throw here. He'll, and he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's their quarterback. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys claw one back. And that touchdown, well, it barely puts a dent in this lead. And unfortunately, I'm having too many flashbacks right now. I remember getting beat down like this playing before. Oh, yeah, college, high school? College, not a heck of a lot of fun. I still remember playing and trying to tackle an elusive tailback who ended up scoring four touchdowns, 226 yards. He scored so many <laughs> times and had so many great runs. I knew every note to their school's fight song. I bet that ice bath felt extra cold afterwards, too. Oh, no, oh, oh, no, there was no ice bath. You're just trying to get out. Out of there before the reporters got to you. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes about him saying, hey, guess what? 
we got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up, and they tend to play well. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. The Rams on third down. They've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. This is third and ten. From the gun, here's Goff. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, on the that's thing. true. got to stay with it. That's true. This is taken at the 15. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Watch one. Watch one. I got it. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Check, 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 check. Back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Second and five. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Second and two. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back to throw again. And to the tight end here, Safarian Jenkins. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Second and three. That is caught at the seven-yard line. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have. And what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, 
just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game, and that's always puzzled me a little bit. They run. It's Gurley. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. This is taken at about the 14. Good work, boys. Let's go. Let's go. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And... The defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Los Angeles, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they'll fall to 1-2. and two, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.